Hello and welcome to today's program, Consequences of Compressed Modernity. My name is Jonathan Grotto. I'm the Policy Director here at the Career Society, and I'm joined by my fantastic colleague, Linda Tobash, the Senior Advisor for Education. Thank you so much for joining us today, Linda. Thank you for having me. And we are delighted to be joined by Professor Chang Kyung Sup, uh, and I'll give a little bit of his bio, and then we'll roll right into our first question. We got a lot of questions. Uh, I also wanna mention that everyone who's watching live, please feel free to send in questions as you watch the program to policy at koreasociety.org. We already have a bunch of questions. We're gonna be taking more and we'll relay them over to Professor Zhang as you send those in. So thanks for everyone's interest. We got over 350 RSVPs for this program. I think that shows tremendous interest in Professor Zhang's work and relevance to what's happening today in South Korea. So today's program is part of this series of collaborations that the policy and education departments are doing. We're trying to do deep dives on different aspects of the intersection of Korean studies and policy. And we've got another program coming up in May, uh, Narrative of Civic Duty with Professor Aram Her. So hopefully a lot of you can join for that program as well. That'll be in person here at the Korea Society. So pleasure to work on these kind of programs together with you, Linda, and looking forward to this conversation. Absolutely, and let me add my welcome as uh, well, Professor. And I hope we can start with the very basics. While many of our viewers will uh, have a strong understanding of the concepts that you explore in your book, here at the Korea Society, we attract a very wide uh, ranging audience uh, from a variety of backgrounds and disciplines. And so um, to start, uh, we hope that you can unpack the meaning of the term compressed modernity and explain why it's so helpful uh, for discovering truths about South Korea. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, I'm very much honored uh, to be with you and all the audience across the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so I will do my best to uh, you know, address your questions and uh, all the interest from the audience. Um, the compression modernity uh, it is a term I, I coined, and uh, I, you know, at the beginning I didn't really uh, mean to uh, uh, write about it for you know a few decades, but I, I, I have ended up writing a lot about it, and then uh, in the course of time I was asked to define it formally. So I, uh, um, in the book, in the page nineteen, I have this uh, 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 sentence that uh, compressed modernity is civilizational condition in which economic, political, social, and or cultural changes occur in an extremely condensed manner with regard to both time and space, and in which the dynamic coexistence of mutually disparate historical and social elements leads to the construction and reconstruction of a highly complex uh, 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 and fluid social system. This will uh, more confuse you than <laughs> uh, you help you to understand it. Um, let me just uh, you know, simplify uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, you know, defining you know, modernity, especially in non-Western societies as some kind of uh, the order or a structure of a relationship uh, with the earlier in, in a modernized societies. So it's Korean modernity, compressed modernity is not about Korea being similar to Western you know, societies in respect to their modernity. Uh, and and, and that, modern, that modernity has achieved you know, you know, within short you know, spans. But rather, I'm, I'm more uh, interested in about the manners, the processes, and the grammars of how, it, how they have actually you know, condensed uh, 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 the time. They have changed it so fast. They have urbanized so fast, industrialized so fast, etc. And on the other hand, they have been internalizing all possible uh, 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 you know, civilizational, uh, uh, you know, the elements uh, from across the world. It's not just, you know, American modernity. It is very much an outcome of political, you know, 
you know, situation, right? Political process in which Korea was liberated and then occupied by American military government and, and also, uh, 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 you know, advised to set up their own modernity in accordance with the American moderns and so on. But on the other hand, they have sent people out to the, you know, Europe. And then, and also, if you go to these European societies, you, uh, end up actually internalizing not only European modernities, but all the other modernities and also traditionalities of those societies colonized by European countries, right? So there is this multicultural uh, you know, you know, complexity there. Even this is internalized. So um, you have everything in Korea. Uh, and then how you manage this speed and this complexity and, and this is uh, uh, what modern, you know, compressed modernity is about. So, um, so I'm not really too you know, proud uh, that <laughs> Korea is so highly developed and modernized and, and, and something like that. But other, I'm very much interested in how they juggle with all these uh, you know, complexities and, 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 and densities and, 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 and you know, velocities. Uh, in which they have you know, managed it to grapple with uh, this, all these different uh, uh, you know, sources of this modern life and the utilities as such. Does it make sense to you? Absolutely. Know. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's a great start and a uh, great foundation for our conversation. And I'm going to move on to the next one, which hopefully uh, yeah. will also be a great way for our audience to understand some of these concepts because we're going to use... Um, Hallyu and Ki Sang Chung, the movie Parasite, as a way to understand some of the concepts oh, okay. of compressed modernity. So in the introduction of your book here, which is a great book and I recommend that everybody gets, um, you say that while some conventional social sciences have failed to grasp South Korean realities, Hallyu cultural products, Korean wave cultural products, have, okay. quote, most brilliantly captured and processed them into quite meaningful forms of aesthetic and intellectual experiences, end quote. So this is an interesting assertion, right? That like the media, our movies, yeah. our films, our dramas have yeah. done a better job at encapsulating social change in South Korea than some of our social sciences. Uh -oh. So as an example, you offer up the movie of Parasite or Ki Sang Chung. Okay. And uh, since so many of our viewers have no doubt watched and enjoyed that movie, I'm wondering yeah. how you, if you could maybe look at that movie and kind of show us how it demonstrates some of the important concepts associated with compressed modernity. Okay, um, that question uh, is you know, rightly uh, uh, located uh, behind the first question. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, the compressed modernity is best, you know, uh, captured in a lot of these, you know, highly, uh, you know, cultural uh, 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 you know, productions, and, including you know, Kizeng Chung and, and, and so on. And, and then on the other hand, I actually uh, had a chat uh, with the outgoing president uh, uh, of my university uh, about uh, two weeks ago. Uh, he has a similar feeling about Hallyu with me because he is he, proud of Hallyu being creative and being uh, relevant to Korean realities, et cetera. And then he, uh, you know, uh, confessed to the, not only to me, but also to, uh, um, he shares this opinion with me, but he confessed to society that Hallyu people have been successful uh, uh, despite uh, uh, a lot of people are graduate from Seoul National University and also other universities uh, with similar, you know, educational and you know, concerns. That they, he's saying to me that they have been successful, uh, not because they have, uh, you know, benefited from university education, but rather because they have uh, developed themselves mm -hmm. into this new. Uh, new, uh, you know, different or more relevant thinking about society and etc. Et and he is saying this uh, on the on the other hand to be critical of uh, this all these you know educational structures of universities in which all these you know these different departments are all segmented and and, and, and you know and, and so on. Uh, so uh, the realities are not that simple, that you, your realities cannot be segmented mechanically into different parts and so on, right? And so he's uh, so much up to this uh, integrating and fusing with different you, you know, uh, 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 sources of knowledge together in you know, order to make sense of this much 
and more complex, you know, re realities and so on. And the complex modernity is so complex, right? So, um, um, and then I, on my part, I confess that I am, uh, you know, educated in the same university. And also I got PhD from American universities and learning from all these Western social sciences and so on. And then I don't have any problem uh, uh, with these Western social sciences being not uh, in a fully uh, 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 sufficient uh, in uh, uh, dealing with these Korean realities because it, it was they were not you know developed uh, uh, in order to uh, explain Korean realities to begin. So, with. in what ways are they inadequate yeah. at understanding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then uh, why it then universities. Uh, uh, differ from these or it's cultural you know, you know the productions right and universities are there to as a uh, instrument for institutional modernization so um they are not there to explain the current societies but to provide all these instrument to build up these modern systems of uh, you know, economy and you know, politics society and technology and so on but on the other hand the Korean the higher products are there to make sense of realities and to make people to feel uh, have some kind of this you know the genuine feelings about their own life and and so on so they are meant to be very very much relevant not only you know in terms of this uh, objectively describing the reality but also in terms of uh, going deeply into their emotions the feelings and, and and you know it's multi layer the, you know the, the the cognitive you know your structures of people so then they will feel uh, you know moved and and then you know anger and and then they will have all kinds of you know cultural experiences there right and then Kiseng Chun is, has been very successful in making people to uh, feel about their own lives. And then there is also class structures there and so on. And then on the other hand, the family is there. Uh, I, as, as I emphasize, the family has been so important in Korea in dealing with all these personal social realities and so on. So, so, um, so th there is differences in, in, in purpose. Right. And then ironically, this cultural production uh, is uh, in a sense more, they are supposed to be an uh, 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 architectural uh, representation of realities, right? But they are nonetheless, they have to be uh, relevant, directly relevant to realities. But on the other hand, social sciences and other sciences are there. Uh, first of all, uh, 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 we're still in the stage, I think, we still think that uh, we need to you know, modernize you know, the bands and perfected systems and with this, uh, you know, knowledge is, you know, brought in from all over the world and so on. And I don't think we have really, you know, passed that stage yet. And, uh, you know, uh, does it... Uh, yeah, no, know, that's any, fantastic. Any, 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 yeah, yeah, and yeah. something so interesting is that yeah. while a movie like Parasite was tailor-made, custom-made to yeah. perfectly map out some of the major social issues in South Korea, yes. it ended up being this tremendous global success, yes. <laughs> which yes. is ironic in some senses, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, quite different from some of the other cultural forms that have succeeded prior, which lacked maybe the specificity relating directly to deep you Korean cultural problems, uh, K-pop, yeah. which a little yeah. bit yeah. more for, meant for a broad audience, right? Yeah. But yeah. Parasite, you know, just, going under the carpet and you know yeah, showing yeah. all the yeah, yeah. Uh, all, all the problems and airing that all out and the world just ignited <laughs> with yeah, right, interest right, 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 so yeah. specifically yeah. korean yeah. type of family yeah. interaction yeah. problem set so, right, so right, really right. interesting so this is uh, you know um when i actually you know talk about the korean reality social problems all the things and and so on then we uh, you know, all this um, literature and, and, and cinemas, they will be much more respected when they are not only relevant to society, but also when they are critical of society, when they, you know, dig up, reveal all these social agonies and, you know, troubles and contradictions and so on. So we, we have problems, uh, you know, like in the United States and, and, and elsewhere. 
but the humans, the civilization, uh, will uh, 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 evolve uh, intellectually and, and, and philosophically by uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, grappling with these uh, realities and, and, and having some kinds of deep thinking and, 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 and even these everyday you know, details of this your life uh, 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 are you know, thought of in a more uh, humane and, and, you know, uh, and also philosophical ways and, and so on. I think the sanctuary has been quite successful in, uh, um, and, then, and then, you know, you're talking about all these, uh, you know, the class, you know, uh, 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 inequalities and, and confrontations and, and, and a lot of frustrations and, and personal agonies and, and so on. So, uh, uh, you know, um, made Korea proud, not because they it portrayed Korea beautifully in terms of the wealth and prosperity, but more in terms of the Koreans uh, being serious about their realities and they are even able to culturally, uh, 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 you know, reproduce uh, all these, uh, you know, philosophical, you know, emotional, uh, I guess, feelings. Yeah. Thank you. And um, moving on to our next question. Um, and while the book doesn't specifically address education, uh, last week, Professor, we spoke about the importance of education. So how has compressed modernity affected education in Korea? And I was thinking about this question. It's, I, I, I've sort of, um, can we explore a bit, how does it affect what is being taught? Okay. And or what should be taught? So what is being taught, does it align with what should be taught? In other words, for the next generation, um, what is it that they need to know and be prepared for? And is that happening? Yeah, okay. Um, you know, as far as compressed modernity is concerned, um, you have a lot to learn, right? Uh, because you, uh, your society is full of all these uh, uh, different, you know, the, the kinds of you know, knowledges and, and and technologies and and, and, and organizational uh, 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 you know, rules and all the things. So, so you have a lot to learn. And I was learning about twenty plus subjects when I was high school students, and and why they you know need to have this many uh, uh, you know. And on the other hand, you have to learn a lot because uh, it's you, you know, this compressed again. So, um, so it's uh, 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 you know reflected into the curricula of these uh, uh, schools at every level. And but if you go to university, and all of a sudden you are you know uh, uh, expected to specialize into one of these branches and knowledges and, and so on, and then. So we have the different uh, you know, structures of this educational system uh, up until the in high school and then universities and so different. And then all of a sudden you're so uh, uh, particularized into a you know, certain uh, you know, field of knowledge uh, once you enter school. And then you, you, you leave behind all these you know, diverse you know, types of knowledge and so on. And then uh, you don't really uh, remember, or uh, you don't really need to remember anything uh, uh, once you get into college, and you just need to you know, specialize in research, right? Yeah. So we have problem, uh, problem there, and then why then you are uh, 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 expected to learn so many different kind of knowledge there, right? And it's, I think, uh, that schooling is a kind of this. Condenser, you, you know the electric uh, equipment condenser. Uh, you know the, this, uh, all these, you know, electric, you know, the, the vehicles need. They have the batteries. They have to charge batteries, right? You, you have this, this condenser. Uh, you know, uh, 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 in, in the, the machine, machine there, and so. Um, in Korea, the education is, you know, this condensing machine. Uh, and and every child, you know, uh, every youth is uh, 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 their the brain is uh, you know uh, fully uh, uh, you know charged with all these different you know sources of this, you know this knowledge and and so on. And then you get ready uh, to, and then you enter college by showing your capacity to condense all these different you know kind of knowledges, right? And then you uh, are you know forced to 
you know, choose one of those subjects and then we'll, uh, 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 and, and then forget about the other, uh, you know. So, um, so they are very knowledgeable. Every, you know, single Korean is so knowledgeable about, uh, you know, uh, not only about their you know, university, you know, you know, just major, but also they are so knowledgeable about all. So for instance, Korean students are, are learning Western music, and not only in terms of the just musical, uh, you know, feelings and, 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 and so on, but also they learn all this, the histories of the, the Western music, right? Like Mozart, you know, who, who is this guy and, you know, when, which country he's from and all these things. And, now, and also they also learn about the Korean, you know, artists and musicians too. So, um, and they memorize and then they are being tested about and something like that. And then people are critical of this kind of educational system, but there is a logic behind it. And, and then this educational sector uh, and also the government at large are thinking that we have to educate children where, uh, with all available uh, uh, in a source of knowledge there, and then we have to make them memorize and, and so on. But all of a sudden, in terms of the century, you don't have to that because you can only carry your, your mobile phone and it's already there. And um, actually, students are asking now, then we should we still have to, you know, memorize all the things uh, when uh, we simply need to carry one small, you know, right, uh, a mobile phone there. And then let me... Um, just mentioned that uh, I'm sorry. This is not commercial advertisement, but uh, this is uh, another book. Uh, it, it's not really. Uh, Can you give us the title? Because we're having yeah, a difficult yeah, time yeah. seeing it. Okay. okay. Um, this is another book I published in 2022, same year, uh, as as the logic of compressible. Right. The transformer citizenship in South Korea. The subtitle is Politics of Transformative Contributory Rights. And I have this uh, chapter on the citizenship in the logical compressed modernity, right? And then, uh, and this book is the elaboration uh, of that chapter. So this, the, that chapter is expanded into whole book. Uh, and then and this, this, the, the chapter, um, yeah, um, yeah. Chapter six uh, is entitled Education as Citizenship or citizenship by education. So um, I will just briefly uh, 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 you know, introduce the, the circumstances there. I try to explain why education, why people, Koreans are so uh, you know, uh, jealous about education, why they're so deeply uh, uh, concerned about their children's educational performance and, 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 and still, the, even the current president, current government are so uh, worried that we need to strengthen this education competition. And this has angered, you know, the, you know these teachers because the, it, you know, a lot of teachers are thinking that this educational competition is killing the, you know, the children and you know, committing suicide and so on. Right? But still there are people who are you know, talking that we need to strengthen this education competition and so on. First of all, in, in now um, talking about it, it's humanities, social sciences, especially social sciences, we're uh, modernizing uh, after liberation, after you know, the Korean War, uh, in an institutionalist manner. We are you know, bringing in the Western civilization mostly in terms of uh, 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 institutionalist manners. They were, you know, adopting, uh, you know, the Western, uh, uh, you know, laws and organizations and, and so on. So these are uh, 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 institutionalized in Korea. So uh, we, you, you have, uh, you know, ended up so many different kinds of in the social, legal, uh, and other types of institutions. And you have to, and they are, you know, social machines, right? That you have to know how to, you know, you know use them. So um, the education is there to teach, uh, 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 you know, Koreans how to uh, become part of these institutions, how you how you can, you know, manage all these social institutions. So this uh, education, social sciences, like uh, they are like uh, like institutional manuals. Right. 
Okay. And then the manuals, institutional manuals, it is, if, if it is like you, 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 know, uh, uh, you know, the television manuals, right? And you don't really read it philosophically, right? Okay? You, just, you just have to remember what are functionally uh, you know, needed to, to, to uh, you know, use the machines. So our social sciences has been you know, educated you know, uh, in that manner. So um, we, on the other hand, we uh, it used to have our you know, uh, early 20th century, our you know, ancestors, you know, earlier senior generation used to have this idea of uh, uh, Western uh, machines and uh, 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 Eastern spirit. Mm -hmm. So we adopted the Western, you know, the you know technologies, institutions, and so on as a matter of practical uh, utilities. But we we still have to you know, stick to our own values and then so on. So, but this actually, I, I don't think we have modernized in in this uh, any kind of way. We actually ended up modernizing uh, Western machines with uh, no philosophies. Okay, it is not Korean or you know Asian philosophies, but we just decided to not. It was not matter of decision, but we have ended up finding ourselves actually uh, you know living our lives uh, without minding too much about the philosophical civilizational you know principles. But rather, uh, if anything is practically useful, then we'll just use it. Okay, <laughs> so social sciences have been taught in that manner. Okay, so um, for instance, uh, um, you know, we teach all these, uh, you know, economics and political science and so on, but we, we have very much uh, a lot of problems, especially legal education is, has a big problem uh, because we don't teach, uh, you know, students of law uh, about the importance of the philosophical, social, uh, civilization, you know, grounds and, and so on. And, 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 and so uh, we we have this uh, this uh, you know low technicians legal technicians mm -hmm. ruling the society uh, you know mm -hmm. these days and and, and so on. Um, right. But it is not just uh, you know the legal you know profession, but also you know the politicians and even a lot of sociologists to be frank with. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's yeah. fascinating, and actually we could spend the entire time talking about this because education and knowledge and what is passed on and other influences coming in are, are so critical but i i know that my uh, uh colleague here jonathan is uh has another question that sort of um is as important but in a different area so let me let me can i just just one more thing oh please do, oh, yes. okay. yeah yeah there's another thing is that uh, korea is culturally you know extremely plural okay right. And then you, know, you, you, you come to Korea, you, and then you will know that these uh, Korean students uh, are all over in, in, in arts and especially music and, and so on. So we have the globally you know, respected you know, sopranos and, and singing the Western, in the European classic songs and, and so on, right? So all these different uh, you know, cultural elements will have some kind of civilization or citizenship in Korea. Huh? mostly through uh, university education. And we, we have this, for, and also um, there's this job that uh, you will have uh, more students, um, more undergrad students majoring in the, uh, you know, uh, the German literature uh, in Korea than German students uh, you know, majoring in German literature in Germany, actually. Yeah. And also <laughs> Italian music schools, uh, Italian in the media was, uh, uh, you know, uncomfortable about there are more Korean students in Italian music schools than actually Italians, <laughs> right? So um, this, you know, deep in, you know, all these, you know, uh, sources of this culture will have some kind of the uh, cultural or, you know, social uh, civilization citizenship, mainly through the education. And then you, this is a society where uh, currently, about ninety percent of high school graduate go to you know the universities, right? So uh, even this humanities and, and arts and, and, and all these uh, uh, non-material uh, uh, you know subjects uh, have a lot of students there, and and actually this is one of the 
uh, important platform, social platform for the success of Hallyu, because we have so many students majoring in all these uh, humanities and, and cultures and arts and so on. And a lot of them will try to you know, continue on, on, on this track. So you have the you know, full supplies of these young people who have college education and then try to develop their career based upon this, their education. And there are a lot of people uh, 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 hoping to uh, uh, be the next generation, you know, stars in the movie, you know, production and then arts. Right. And so, on. so I can, you know, go on and on and on. There are yes, other- yes, uh, I know. Uh, And this uh, is something that really gets us all excited because yes. uh, you described the education right. system in Korea as a condensing machine. <laughs> and I, I've been a part of that machine. I, I worked at a hagwon as a teacher, as an English teacher in Korea. So, Linda, I, I taught English <laughs> in yeah, Korea. Really. And of course, well, that pales in comparison to your experience, Professor Jung. But we've all been a part of this. And I think the Koreans think very deliberately and very seriously about their education system. And one of the debates yeah. that I always heard when I was there was this tension between, on the one hand, juip shik yoyuk, injection styles yeah, of education yeah, versus yeah. cham gyoyuk real yes. genuine forms yes. of education. And I wonder if compressed modernity has been pushing the education yes. system more towards the Juipchik yes. style yes. where you're just yes. really trying to force students to memorize and memorize and memorize. Yes. And uh, another thing that dawns on me about education is that it's become this real hot button political issue for debates yes. about social fairness, especially yes. all these controversies where politicians and their children have yes. gotten unfair uh, mm -hmm. admittance into elite universities. And it's become this way for Korean society to debate and discuss about yeah. what is fair. And yeah. are we setting up a education system which provides yeah. fair opportunities for our students? Yeah. Great, perfect, yeah. All right, I don't know if you have any other thoughts about that. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So do, was it question? Uh, it was an observation. If you have any thoughts, if you have any thoughts, I think uh, I think you know. Um, if you actually uh, um, um, you know read this all these uh, you know internet comments on the uh, news articles and, and and other, and you have the different you know platform, right? different uh, 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 you know there uh, you know children and the youth. Uh, who are frustrated uh, with this, you know, schooling and also uh, formal politics uh, about not being able to present uh, some persuasive, you know, the arguments uh, for the ongoing inequalities and ongoing, uh, you know, alienation of youth and so on. And they will, uh, so they have their own, you know, you know, forum there, right? Right. So. Um, the, uh, so um, the education, I think that's a reflection of uh, education and also formal politics. You know, formal politics uh, is supposed to function partially as educational instrument to young gener younger generation, right? right? So that's why politicians have to always, you know, uh, watch their own, you, you know, uh, words and, 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 and behaviors and, and so on, because they are supposed to be the, uh, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the representative, uh, you know, uh, of society and then the net children have to learn from them and so on. But everywhere in, you know, in, in, the, in the world, in the politics is actually uh, doing exactly the, the opposite. <laughs> so, so um, and, and, but on the other end, all these highly educated Korean youth will, uh, you know, have their own you know, social forum on, on the web and, and so on. Uh, but a lot, and you know, oftentimes actually, uh, that's also recently been actually uh, contaminated by this political world and, and so on. It gets more and more complicated, I guess. Right. So now I want to transition to talk a little bit about the family structure okay. and okay. how compressed modernity has affected that. This is something that you've written a lot on a book yeah. explicitly about this in 2010. And yeah. okay, so how has compressed modernity affected the family structure in Korea? Yeah. And I also yeah. wanna add one question from our audience, which is related to this, which is yeah. how has the rapid pace of modernity imposed yeah. stresses on relations between the older generations and the younger generations? Okay. So yeah. family structure and uh, intergenerational relations. And that question yeah. comes from Jeffrey Tao, our audience member. Okay. Thank you, Jeffrey. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, this family structure, uh, we can uh, you know, think about it in terms of demographic structure and also in terms of this, uh, 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 the, the, the social order uh, among different uh, uh, generations, different genders and so on, right? Um, let me first begin uh, with this uh, rapid, you know, demographic changes uh, of families. Um, Korean society was about you know, 80% rural in uh, late 50s and early 60s, and then it became exactly opposite by late 80s. So um, Korea became pre predominantly urban by late 80s, right? Then, and this urbanization uh, will change this family you know, structure. And first of all, um, a lot of young uh, youth had to live uh, in you know, villages and to live uh, in cities, and then ended up actually marrying uh, 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 there. Um, they could have the weddings in, in villages, but they will live in cities, right? So um, there's this migration uh, from villages to cities, and then this has automatic effect of uh, making, uh, creating nuclear families, uh, 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 because they uh, live separately from their own parents, right? So um, the nuclear families became uh, 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 the model, uh, you know, family forms uh, through this uh, process. And on the other hand, when you, uh, you know, uh, live in the cities and then when you work for companies and when you do not really, uh, uh, you know, work on farm as, or, you know, uh, as, as family units, then uh, your children's value uh, will change, right? Uh, the, your children would go to school and you are paying for their education. Right. And also your children will need your toys and you will pay for their you know, toys and so on. So children uh, becomes uh, your, your, your expenses uh, as compared to the uh, traditional you know, rural situation right. where children are you know, mobilized to work uh, along with their parents, right? So that, this is actually a demographic theory. And, and Korea has been, uh, uh, and going through this transition, and then so uh, it, uh, nuclear families became um, um, very much, uh, you know, uh, generalized, and also the fertility has gone down because you don't need to have too many children, and children are expensive, and and and, and so on. So, um, but on the other hand, in this from uh, uh, the earlier industrialization period, period like uh, you know, seventies. Uh, both, you know, men, uh, young men and women were working in factories and, and so on, and even in the villages. And you know, you, uh, young, you know, your children, daughters and sons, will uh, uh, work together, and and but daughters will marry away, of course. But uh, from 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 uh, uh, the 80s and the industrial structure changed rapidly into these heavy industries and, and so on. So we you have ended up creating pre dominantly male uh, 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 centered industrial structures uh, in the uh, 80s, 90s. So um, on the other hand, there is modernization of family. Ironically, this is modernization of family, uh, even in Western countries too. The women gradually uh, you know, move, left labor market to become full time housewives. And this is a definition of middle class families. And then, so the women don't have to work and their children don't have to work uh, to make up, up, make up for the you know, uh, 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 family income anymore. And then your, your fathers will have sufficient income, right? So um, there is this, uh, 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 you know, uh, what, they, what is called the housewifeization of Korean women, uh, especially you know, middle class women. Uh, uh, in, in the uh, uh, 80s, 90s, and, and, and so on. And then on the other hand, this educational uh, you know, you know, uh, expansion you know, continued. So um, when, once uh, in the late 90s and early 2000, Korea was, I guess, uh, the only country uh, where the, uh, the college educated, the more educated you are, if you're a woman, the more educated you are, the less likely uh, you will work full time. In other words, you go to college to uh, marry, uh, you know, you know, decent, you know, a man. And, and then you, but on the other hand, you uh, kind of, you know, glorify yourself, yourself and your family in terms of the, you know, cultural capital 
uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, one from the universities. So, um, so uh, it was just 10, 10, 20 years ago that uh, Korean women's education uh, uh, was mostly for uh, this uh, uh, non, uh, uh, you know, material, uh, uh, more social and also, uh, you know, cultural uh, you know, capital. But now it's different. Now, you know, all women uh, work and all young women work and we have more, uh, you know, women uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know, boys go to the military, right? For conscription, right? So we have actually more young uh, women entrance to the labor market than the men entrance these days. It's wholly different in different societies now. Let me go back to the family. So we have this uh, uh, nuclear family you know, generalized, and then uh, you you have uh, you know less children, a smaller family. But on the other hand, because of this male-centered you know economic structures, and also political and other uh, you know elite sectors are all male-centered, right? So in order to make your family successful, you you want to be successful. Your family uh, want to be successful, and and you so you need boys. Right, you need sons. So we had very strong son preference uh, in in in, uh, in the nineties, two thousand, and so on. And so we, it was a big problem actually. And we had this uh, you know abortion, you know uh, 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 you know illegal abortion of you know female fetus and, and so on. And so um, this this is you know family structures affected by these uh, you know changes. But on the other hand. As I said in the book, the Korean family has been functioning as some kind of uh, social infrastructure, right? Uh, and uh, as I said, the Korean, you know, have been modernized, you know, institutionalist manner, right? You can bring in the Western institutions on, on a formal uh, macro level, uh, right? And also you can uh, adopt all this uh, modern, uh, uh, secondary organizational institutions like in the schools and then everything and so on. But still, there is this, uh, 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 you know, uh, deficiencies. And especially uh, at the individual level to, you know, uh, you know enter all these modern, uh, uh, you know, spheres of life and, and, and so on. And you need to, uh, uh, but on the other hand, you don't really have this, uh, but you, you used to be a very, advanced, you know, traditional civilization, but uh, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, Korean society decided to leave all that behind, right? And everything is new and, and so on. Then how you deal with all this, uh, uh, it's just like uh, recently there is, this, you know, post-socialist transitions in, in all these so like former socialist countries, right? They're everywhere, family is so important. And they, the, the, the states are asking their people to rely on their families to deal with a lot of problems with social welfare and all these things. And in Ch Chinese families are so important these days. And they rely on family in every res respect. The Chinese families are now in functioning as social infrastructure for a lot of these new, new things you know, brought up. So Korea is the same. So um, now we're talking about compressed modernity and, 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 and this institutional, social institutional uh, you know, infrastructural, uh, you know, uh, uh, conditions uh, 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 there to uh, make up for, uh, uh, you know, these formal social institutions uh, uh, in terms of mobilizing all your private resources uh, uh, in relations and so on. So I think uh, we, there is just a lot of criticism about Korean capitalism and Korean society Ki Seng Chung is one of the uh, you know, criticism, right? And when it's so family centered, then uh, there are a lot of these uh, side effects, negative side effects, and so on. But on the other hand, it is, uh, I mean, let's uh, put this, uh, uh, this morality in a political correctness aside. But we have to accept that Korean capitalism and Korean you know, other you know, parts of modernities. Uh, that uh, have been uh, consolidated uh, primarily because Koreans have been, uh, you know, uh, uh, activating their, you know, uh, indigenous social uh, uh, organizations. 
and then end up creating all this conglomerate, you know, the jebel, right? They all mm -hmm. family, uh, you know, structure of the, the corporate, you know, owners and you know, governance and so on. So uh, it's there to uh, facilitate all this, you know, family and other, you know, you know supposedly pre-modern, you know, social institutions been reactivated to uh, facilitate mm. the modernization of uh, adoption of this, you know, the modern, modern things, but ended up uh, 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 on surface very much distorted, uh, uh, you know, you know structures of, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, business structures, for instance, Jebel is very much distorted you know, in terms of, uh, and the Jebel cannot leave Korean society because other societies will not tolerate legally that kind of, you know, uh, 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 informal uh, control structure uh, of corporate ownership and, and, and management. So we don't worry about the capital flight, Korean society. Samsung will never leave Korea. <laughs> and they will never leave, leave Korea because they, uh, you know, family control structures uh, uh, and the, this, you know, you know this um, business, you know, structure, uh, you know, family control business structure is tolerated. And then that's why they have to rely on all these legal professions. Uh, and so you you will get uh, have a lot of you know opportunities to make a lot of monies out of this uh, you know family structure in in, in in business because you will always have to mind up all those legal issues. So I just I just wanted to follow up on um, on on something you said earlier in this discussion in terms of sort of the family, the moving to the more the nuclear family, and you also touched upon the individual. So a little bit, can you elaborate or explore with us um, sort of the concept that you cover in your chapter on complex culturalism versus multiculturalism, but specifically what you say about, and I quote, individually, South Koreans have had to develop a cultural personhood that is highly complex, yet highly flexible. So when we look at the family structure, when we look at family structure and business, and we look at the institutions, there's also now and a, perhaps a growing emphasis on the individual um, and, and the sort of cultural personhood that they have to develop uh, in, in this context of sort of compressed modernity and, and how that's changing things. Okay, yeah. Um you, uh, we have this uh, you know, very interesting, uh, you know, uh, 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 um, when, when, when people get together, company people and, and, and you, know, you know, we have the very strong, this, uh, you know, the norm of the social hierarchy, right? In terms of the ages, in terms right. of the organizational rankings and, and, and so on. And, 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 and then, when while drinking, uh, we we, uh, we try to uh, make you know fun of us by uh, declaring uh, like uh, five ten minutes uh, we uh, you know uh, will be different and then we'll destroy all this hierarchy and then you can you can talk to me as if I'm your friend and something like that right so you uh, will uh, uh, then talk uh, without honorifics. Uh, for instance, for ten minutes, or something like that. Right? So, you um, we we have this. Uh, it's not only that, but also uh, we uh, our life is composed of so many different you know kinds of the cultural and, and social contexts. And then you know, in order to, for instance, you know, students are expecting me to be, and uh, sometimes very much you know liberal. And, and, and even in, in, and even postmodern, and sometimes they also expect me to be to appear like uh, you know Confucian gentry. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and, and 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 then also while you, you go out and drinking with them, you, you you have to entirely liberate yourself, and then you you have to behave like uh, you, you know uh, like them, uh, you know enjoying. And also if I. Uh, show them that I know the recent, you know, K-pop songs, and if I uh, can sing a you know, recent song uh, before them, uh, 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 while we go to the karaoke and so on, and then 
I'll be, you know, you know, glorified <laughs> by that. Like that. Yeah. So um, this is what, uh, uh, you know, you, you, you need to develop this kind of, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, the picture, you know, you know, to become attractive to other people. So, um, you know, and why this, uh, you know, kind of, uh, uh, it's because we, uh, living in a compressed in a society of compressed modernity and also in terms of the you know food culture right you uh, you know i for instance uh, um i'm we, we eat uh, for three meals uh, you know as elsewhere and then usually one of those meals will uh, be uh, uh, non-Korean, for instance, right? Uh, like we'll, uh, also, when you go out and have, you know, uh, 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 you know dinner uh, with uh, friends or you know uh, um, other people, then we'll. Uh, well, last time we ate Korean food. Let's go for like you know, uh, Western Italian or something like that. So, and now we have a lot of this, uh, the foreign workers coming in and from all across Asia, right? We have all kinds of this, uh, you know, Asian food now, including the uh, Central Asian food and also the Arabic food and so on. So, um, so now there's, uh, we, we have this, this, uh, 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 you know, you know, fantasy, food fantasy. Uh, uh, so we talk to each other. Uh, uh, about you know, what kind of food you have eaten. But I mean, this is already there in New York and everywhere. This is already taken for granted, but this is new in Korea and it's very rapidly you know, uh, uh, developing now. But what I want to uh, emphasize is that um, you have to, uh, uh, you have to uh, uh, manage your life. Uh, uh, in accordance uh, uh, with this, uh, you know, the complex, uh, you know, cultural uh, you know, environments, okay? But depending on what kind of things you do, you don't have to do it. But if you, uh, I mean, uh, different occupations uh, will have different, you know, uh, uh, intensities uh, uh, for, for this, but uh, uh, we, um, we simply cannot, you know, uh, stick to this Confucian, you know, culture alone. Uh, uh, and then you will be, uh, you know, uh, damned by your younger generations if you uh, simply behave, uh, you know, in, in, in that, uh, 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 you know, the way. Um, so, um, in a sense, uh, this right. is, uh, um, yeah, that's really interesting. It is. And, um, I think I want to, I think it's a good time to do some rapid fire questions. Okay. So we've got some questions from our audience members. Uh, okay. And I'm going to pass them along and we'll take turns. Uh, so I'll go first with a question from Rosamond Purdue. And Rosamond is from Breakthrough Now Media. Uh, Rosamond asks, how has the rapid economic development affected mental health and anxiety and depression in Korea? Okay. Um, the... Uh, the late 1990s, this what what's called IMF economic crisis, right? uh, this financial national financial crisis, and I, uh, I wrote an article. Uh, uh, actually, uh, the, the entire world was so curious how this uh, supposedly invincible economy has you know, faltered uh, all of a sudden. Right? And then there was this uh, not only an economic crisis but also this, you know, a collective psychological despair there. Yeah. And then there is this, uh, 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 you know, unprecedented situation in which Koreans first uh, uh, began to uh, face uh, uh, the prospect that tomorrow will be worse than today. Yeah. So a Korean economy has been, you know, improving uh, you know, since 60s, six, 70s, 80s, 90s, and, and, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, situation turned around. And, and there is this actually, um, you know, ironical uh, 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 in the outcome of the social surveys that before this financial crisis, if you you know, if you ask Koreans, you know, you know, 
you, you know, categorize yourself in terms of social class, then the, the, you know, the overwhelming majority of them will you know, classify themselves as middle class, okay? And, and this proportion is way high, you know, higher than the, uh, the objective you know, proportion uh, you know, you know, you know, uh, um, counted by uh, you know, the professionals. And why do you clarify yourself as uh, you know, uh, um, middle class, even if you are not the middle class? It's usually because you are better off now than uh, when you came uh, from countryside and, and then you're better uh, than your, your parent generation and so on, right? So this rapid economic development used to make people feel very much optimistic and also even exaggerate their you know, economic status. Wow. Uh, 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 but after the financial crisis, mm. and we have new trend that people, when asked you know, uh, uh, to, to categorize yourself in, in terms of social class, then actually people uh, will, uh, even middle class people, uh, will not, uh, you know, a lot of middle class people will stop categorizing themselves as middle class and they will, uh, because they are, uh, you know, gloomy about, uh, you know, unstable and so on. So um, this, this is, you know, psychology yeah, of this. So this is not only about the, uh, uh, um, um, you know, at the level of development, but also this, uh, the uh, uh, the angle of these uh, you know economic uh, uh, you know changes right so when you go down then because of this background of this rapid economic development in previous decades then Koreans uh, tended to be more frustrated uh, uh, than other people uh, for instance the Korean financial crisis uh, happened along with this uh, Southeast Asian financial crisis right. And the Korean economy sprang up, recovered much better than Southeast Asian economies. But nonetheless, the, the psychological you know, frustration has not actually uh, um, been healed. And this is because now, this is important, Korean economy has been neoliberalized so radically. Okay, And then Korean companies, uh, for instance, Korean companies are hiring uh, in China and Vietnam, uh, like uh, roughly speaking, slightly less than 5 million workers in factories uh, uh, in China and, and, and Vietnam, okay, mm -hmm. to four socialist countries. Now, in, within Korea, the manufacturing sector, I'm talking about manufacturing sectors, right? That's about the same number of Korean workers employed in manufacturing sectors. So this is globalization, but this is neoliberal globalization and the capital is given full freedom to do whatever they want to do. And on the other hand, uh, it's new generation uh, within Korea, right? Uh, they they uh, cannot really get the uh, regular employment so easily, right? So it's mm -hmm. non-regular employment, you know, uh, you know, the pre precarious employment has been so much uh, in, in, in spread and, and so on. So um, there is this you know, generational uh, 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 you schism know, here huh? about uh, uh, their identity as an economic citizen. So uh, the young generations are so much you know, uh, in such ethic about all these developmental slogans of the government anymore. And they don't uh, you know? They don't have any bakjeong in nostalgia. You know, do not know bakjeong, you know, of course. But you know, this Korean in you know, politics cannot be you know practiced in terms of a developmentalist you know slogans and anymore. But still, those people, those people in six and seventies and eighties who used to live as a developmentalist citizens under bakjeong are still voting for this the descendants of this. Uh, you know, uh, uh, a developmentalist conservative party and so on. So, 
um, this is the political psychology uh, uh, related to this uh, rapid economic development. This is so fascinating. And I want to provide Linda with a chance for maybe the last question. I can't believe it. The time has moved so quickly, but over to you, Linda. Okay, thank you. Um, and, and so I'm uh, looking at a question from uh, Christy Schala from the Swiss Embassy. And so sort of looking at infrastructure, um, her question is, how, and maybe this is um, a, a, a positive uh, note uh, that we'll end on, is how have smart city reforms, uh, such as those implemented by Lee Myung-bak, you know, Oh Se-hun, and Park, Woon, Park Won-sung, changed the quality of life for Solites? Okay. Um, and is it a positive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should yeah, ask. Is it a expression. positive? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I looked yeah. at your face and I was like, mm, well, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me confess. You know, I'm, I'm not the smart citizen. <laughs> In terms of being fully integrated, all these <laughs> smart governments and then so on. But on the other hand, Korea often Koreans often compare uh, Korea to Japan in this respect. Mm -hmm. For instance, in during this the corona, you know, the, the early month of you know coronavirus pandemic and so on, this smart governance was there, right? And then they began to track down these old Korean citizens, you know, the movements, private movements through this, uh, you know, you know, internet, uh, you know, digital signals and, and so on. So they were very successful, and they they actually terrified. You know the, all these smart, you know, uh, 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 thing, right? And then Koreans, well, uh, we and as a people who went through, the, you know, the, you know, not only colonial, you know, uh, 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 exploitation, but war and 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 all these even. And you know this uh, industrialization, urbanization was so chaotic and so on, right? And and so they have this um, sense of urgency every time, all the time. And in, you know, IMF economic crisis, financial crisis, you know, added there, you know, right? So because of these repeated, you know, urgent situations, then they will adopt different mode of behavior, and then they are, uh, you know, fully ready to be uh, regimented by the government in all, in all these emergency measures, okay? So this smart, uh, uh, you know, uh, I mean, it's not only an ordinary smart, you know, city, in, in, you know, uh, infrastructure and smart government infrastructures, but also, especially during the you know, coronavirus situation, this smart, you know, you know, control system was there to, uh, uh, make Korean government very effective. But on the other hand, because Koreans are so practical, so they are even ready to sacrifice their own, you know, civil rights, you know, basic you know, constitutional rights to, you know, protect their own, you know, right, and privacy and so on. And then they will allow all this smart, you know, uh, you know, digital, you know, system Invade your your your, your, your privacy and so on. So uh, so we, we have this uh, in, in a problem. But obviously Japan seems to be very much different uh, on both sides. The government is not too much enthusiastic about it. On the other hand, people are very much you know afraid uh, to be invaded. And then if you go to Japan and the, you know Japanese houses, uh, they will usually even during daytime and, and nighttime, or they you know put curtains. Right, and so uh, on on their house, uh, they don't want to show their privacy. Right, so you, they have different uh, uh, culture and also the governance. Uh, I guess uh, uh, paradigm there. But in Korea, uh, um, yeah, we, you know, it, it has to, you know you know two sides of coin, right? right. But uh, they Koreans are so accustomed to it. Okay, mm -hmm. and then. This will certainly have uh, uh, continue to make Korea uh, build up, uh, intensify their compressed modernity, uh, and, and so. So I want to first of all 
Professor yeah. Chung Kyung Sub, thank you so much for your time, for your insights, for your brilliance. We really, really appreciate it. Um, everyone who's watching this, please check out his books, The Logic of Compressed Modernity, which we've talked about a lot today, and Transformative Citizenship in South Korea, Politics of Transformative Contributory Rights, um, also coming out 2022. Um, so I want to give one last opportunity, Professor Chong, closing thoughts on okay. compressed modernity, why it matters. Um, okay. And once again, thank you so much for joining us. Today. Okay. Um, um, let me, you know, take this opportunity to do another thing and, and to, to, to uh, um, explain uh, 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 my, uh, you know, my work uh, more broadly. Uh, um, I'm, I'm doing, uh, I'm writing uh, currently um, the, uh, the, the risk of compressed modernity. Uh, this is companion book to the logical compressed modernity. That's the same press, the Polity Press will publish it, and then I expect to finish the writing and it uh, you know, within this year. So you uh, could see it uh, maybe late next year or something like that. And, and then I try to uh, uh, focus more on this. Uh, you know the other sides of compressed modernity. I mean, the logic of compressed modernity is already fully critical of compressed modernity. Not only you know uh, 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 praising it, but also, uh, but I'm, I'm talking about uh, in this new book. I'm talking about all these uh, you know uh, 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 dilemmas and, 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 and problems, uh, and so I, I try to balance. Uh, uh, the entire you know picture of compressed modernity this way. On the other hand, I have been uh, analyzing uh, uh, the Korea as uh, you know developmentalist system, and 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 this developmentalism uh, is not just about economic development, but also I I you know uh, uh, look at the Korean capitalism uh, uh, as. Uh, uh, very much different from the Western, uh, uh, you know, individualist, uh, you know, liberal capitalism because they it began uh, capitalism began in Korea as uh, some kind of colonial experience, right? They Koreans experienced capitalism by being exploited Japanese colonial capitalists, right? So it's capitalism was collective experience. Now, and in the after the liberation, uh, in, in, in during the process of modernization, industrialization, it was the government, the state, what is called development of state, which wanted to develop a you know, capitalist economy. We didn't have you know meaningful capitalist class, right? To begin with, in the 50s, 60s, and so on, we, we do have Jebel now, but you cannot explain Jebel uh, without. Uh, taking into account the role of state, right? Uh, is all about this uh, business and governments and collaboration or collusion. And so so um, the capitalism in Korea is very much collective thing. And developmentalism uh, is, is uh, development, development is usually with thinking about the national level of progress, right? Economic and other progress. Development is a collective thing, you know, notion. Uh, of, of going forward, right? So, uh, so Koreans are still very much developmentalist, especially senior generations. Now that actually divides between generations. And younger generations don't look at uh, their life as developmental city, right? Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, we, the you know, these uh, elite people, rich people, uh, 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 they uh, you know, rule society. And, and they manage the state as the developmentalist elites. Okay, so um, we you have to take that into account. And then I try to uh, explain Korean society and politics from that developmentalist modernity uh, perspective. So I wrote this transformative citizenship uh, book, and also I wrote in 2019 uh, developmental liberalism in. South Korea. Developmental liberalism is a social policy liberalism of a developmental state. And Korea is developmentally liberal in social policy as compared to the United States being liberally liberal in social policy. Okay, and this in Korea and United States in many aspects very similar in social conditions. And then that's why they 
can create this exciting, you know, uh, uh, you know, movies and so on, right? Because if uh, you know, United States is as as much fair society as Sweden, for instance, right? You are not going to have this Hollywood movies, you know, all this violence, you know, class conflicts and so on. Korea has same problems, you know, Kiseng Chung and so on, right? And all these, you know, social inequalities, injustices, uh, you know, being ended up being culturally you know, recreated into beautiful masterpieces, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we are, uh, you know, developmentally liberal. Uh, so we have these problems of the social welfare being not insufficient, and then the family is being asked to, to deal with it, all these, you know, uh, care problems and, and so on. So um, I'm, you, you know, if you, uh, uh, among audience, if you, uh, 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 you know, concerned or interested about this uh, uh, developmental uh, aspect and, and, and the social side effects of the developmental uh, transformations. And you can, you know, read my, uh, you know, uh, other books uh, uh, written on, 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 on you know, these aspects. Well, that sounds so wonderful. And these books are published in, by Parker McMillan. I, I, I have this series, the series, the International Political Economy series, as I published serious books in that uh, publisher, uh, but compressed more than this book, I publish with this, uh, you know, quality. But uh, uh, maybe I'm not supposed to mention this press, but uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm writing a lot of books. Uh, um, you're, well, you're fantastically uh, prolific. Uh, and you have definitely left us with much to think about, much food for thought, and that's invaluable. So we thank you so very much, and we hope that you can join us again uh, when your new book comes out okay. maybe sometime in 2024 yeah. uh we'd yeah, love to have yeah, you back yeah, on yeah, and thank yeah. you I'll so much you for sharing everything yeah, yeah. really thank really you so appreciate much it. Yeah, yeah yeah thank you so much well, yeah. and yeah. thank you to you linda it's been such a pleasure to work together on this um this is the launch of our collaboration of policy and education uh programming um you know we we overlap in many areas so we're excited and Thank you, Professor, for for being our our first speaker in this uh, collaboration that we're having. Thank you so much. Thank I you. will welcome you to Seoul. Ah, thank you. Yeah, we thank can't you. Wait. We're there. <laughs> thank you also to Peter Stumke, who has done all of the uh, IT direction for this and all the production. Thank you to. For, to Daniel Che, our policy associate, who's just done a fantastic job helping lay the groundwork on this in content and logistics. Uh, And thank you to all of our audience members for joining us today. We welcome you back for all of our other programmings. Check out www.koreasociety.org to see what we have coming up. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Good night. And good morning. (laughs) And good morning.